I posted this on my LinkedIn uh, a few days ago, um, just around content longevity. They did a study on, on adverts and everybody sees adverts and everybody is aware of adverts and has a fairly strong opinion on them. And they tested whether ads wear out over time like the more you see them the more you know the less effective they become essentially and ultimately they found no evidence of that if the work is good like it actually wears in yeah. people become more accustomed to it they see it uh more and it's like that kind of instant kind of like hit of oh yeah i remember this and that's ultimately like the purpose of marketing is that that salience that yeah. uh like stealing that mind share when people are at that point of purchase when they're considering a service like you want to be in that i think uh it was um i think it's giles uh giles from uh gasp agency uh talks about if you're not in the room already like it's really really hard to kind of come through and break into that room so you need to be in somebody's like mind already if you've done a body of work and you've produced a load of content and you're pleased with it and you're happy with it and you know that it's on point it's on message give it the shelf life that it deserves i think just on, on like linkedin stats i think it's between eight to ten percent of your audience will see a single post unless of course you're putting paid spend behind it but at least a, a top of like ten percent will see a post unless obviously it does go viral but just as a kind of indication there like that gives you sort of an opportunity to kind of post it 10 times just to even get close towards kind of like saturation of your own followers and your own audience so that just, just should give you an example of just how long a shelf life this stuff has but then when you put that lens actually things kind of wear in over time and people start to recognize and respond to the message that you're putting out into the market like that should give you the confidence to put things out more regularly slice it and dice it into as many different ways formats um that you can and continue continue to share I think um, we've all been guilty, even now as I'm talking. I know that I had posts that I did last year that did well, and I really should have shared them more than once, or like that point of view more than once, yep. and I haven't. So I need to uh, follow my own advice. But there is... I've, got, I've actually so, got a, a really good example there, Dan, is yeah. like I used to I used to be in charge of my old CEO's LinkedIn feed for him, right? And, well, I, did, I, I, was, I was managing four accounts at the time for the business, right? So trying to be as efficient as I can with content. And he used to like posting up some humor. So we, we did a little bit of like white label comedy and that sort of thing. Um, he used to write some of his own and like he was, he was, to be fair, he was actually quite funny. He was a former stand-up comedian himself. That's helpful. And he wrote a particular post um, on not funny in the slightest. So I don't try. I just copy other people and repost things. But um, he posted something up. And it was, do you remember like when we were kids and the pro and the death is still there. Cause I've seen them those, um, makeshift school, um, outdoors environments, like the, the porter cabins, right? Every school had one somewhere and like it did a, it did a post around that and it got loads of traction that everybody thought was hilarious. You know, I thought this was, this was where my actual school was in the eighties or something like that. Um, and I thought that did really well the first time I'm going to, I'm going to post it again, six months later. So I posted it again and it got better traction than it got the first time. And then I thought, I'm going to, I'm going to see how far I can take this before people notice. And I posted it six times in 18 months and it got better re results five times out of those six, every time I posted it. And the irony being some of the same people were commenting on the sixth occasion that commented on the second and third occasion. So even though they'd seen it and they'd seen that same content before, they were still reacting to it from the same person. And still getting yeah. results from it, so it is. It's entirely possible to do. You know, Dave Plunkett, who's a good friend of mine, always says the only person who gets bored of your content is you. Exactly that. Exactly that. And I think because you're surrounded by it and you're consumed by it when you're creating it, and it, it, I think it just takes up so much of your mental capacity, it just kind of like completely dominates your thinking. And it's like, wow, well, I'm glad that that's over. Like I've I've spent the last two weeks like producing this or and like you know for you like editing video like going over this agonizing over the same quote that you've said it's like oh I can, maybe i can remove that little pause there like you get over and over and over and over and over nobody else has been through that but you just you can't put yourself in somebody else's shoes at all it's impossible to kind of create this sort of blank canvas but the the research from system one's really interesting and i will 
endeavor to like dig out the the link to it because i just think it's really really powerful indicator that you can get so much life out of the work that you're doing and provided that you stick to the, like your core strategy and your audience pain points and you've done that work to like really nail those down just keep hammering it out there you want to become no when any basically you want to get to the point where when somebody says something the, the the immediate reaction is oh you need to speak to them like because that is all they yeah. go on about and you want it to get to that point where it's almost like you're almost an irritant like but you're not but like that's sort of how you would feel in your mind just it, it has to get to that level it has to get to that level so i think just factor that into to all of the stuff that you're doing and add it add it numerous times over the over probably a year period and just just see how it performs over time i'd agree and 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 just keep going back to the stuff that did well and just retest it see whether it's see whether it's still relevant relevant